Alrighty then, hello everybody, welcome to Nexus TV. I am Kyanite today, and today I'm all by myself, but hopefully I'll be able to bring a co-caster in for the second map, and uh, perhaps for the third map, that is of course assuming we do end up playing the third map. So, as you can see on the top of your screens, it is Kazakhstan versus Bulgaria, and it is the knife round, so which of these countries are going to emerge victorious in the all-important knife round, as you can tell as well, map number one is Mirage, which uh, is always an interesting map. Way to go. One nil Bulgaria. So hopefully it looks like we are gonna go live right away. Both teams have swapped. Wow, look at the Kazakhstanis pings. Wow, 135, 115, 120 and 135. So uh well I guess if Kazakhstan end up winning, Bulgaria might use the ping as an excuse and if Kazakhstan lose then they're gonna say uh, they're gonna use their ping as an excuse so I guess you can't win either way so uh, hopefully both teams can look past the pings and just concentrate on counter strike so what are we gonna see here then Kazakhstan pushed all the way up mid and there's the first casualty of the game I suspect that he takes down Moot the frags returned from Keen he was keen on getting that return frag. So with Dren, of course, from the Stan of Dragons, we all know how much of a quality player as Dren is. He is, of course, representing Kazakhstan here. He's going to go into that B-bomb site. And uh, talking about a Dren, there's a kill from him. Four versus one Tarantula. He's all by himself. Can he use those eight hands of his to pull this four versus one clutch off? He's already disposed of a Dren. But Rafa returns the kill. And one nil to the uh, Kazakhstanis. At least I assume it's Kazakhstanis. I always mess up on these uh, kind of nationality word thingy majigs. We'll just call them Kazakhstanis for now. So, obviously, Kazakhstan won the all important pistol round. They are on uh, T side as well. So, uh, we've got a few Mac 10s out. We're going to have a few uh, AKs bought as well. Which will give Kazakhstan that vital weapon advantage over their opponents in Bulgaria. But, that could all go to waste, of course, if Mu ends up dying cheaply, which he doesn't. Spectre's been tagged in Window Room. He's going to fall back to Window Room. And here's Mu there. They've spotted each other. Oh, Spectre dinked Mu. He dinked Mu. And uh, despite that, we still have no casualties. So where are the terrorists going then? Looks like they're all going towards this B-bomb site. Bubble's fully aware of that. He only has that P2000. He's dealt damage once. Is he going to get a kill? The answer to that is no. One of the CTs, they're rotating into this bomb site one by one. And Kazakhstan mopping the floor with them at the moment. Oh no, Adren jumped over Spectre, who uh, managed to take Rafa down, but it wasn't enough. Four versus two. And Tarantula once again, the last Bulgarian standing. And surely, we'll get disposed of sometime soon. There it is, 2 0. Not quite sure why uh, Source TV is quite laggy, actually, or Go TV. Frags are happening relatively late. I don't think it's uh, to do with my end. We'll just carry on and see uh, how it goes. So, 2 0 Kazakhstan, exactly uh, what they will have wanted. Of course, we discussed a drum before. Top quality player, and sometimes having uh, such a top quality player in your side can often end up making a difference between the two uh, very evenly matched sides. So, talking about evenly matched sides, the CTs have gone and. Uh, bought up early so we do have three pharmacies on the uh, counter terrorist side and they will already get a pick in one of the pharmacies Koran returns the kill four versus four now Keen is making his way in towards a connector spy leaders just to his right there and spy leaders gonna pull off that farmer shot he's gonna get chased down two from spy leader that's what we've come to see and as it stands the early buy from the Bulgarians from the counter terrorists has paid off for them 2-0 but uh, it could become 2-1 sometime soon. Bulgaria, of course, they have a two-man advantage now. Oh, but Adren makes it a one-man advantage. Good headshot by him. He's on 77 HP. He has the bomb in his hands. And now Kazakhstan 
Needs to choose a bomb site. They need to get that bomb down on the floor. And Dren's gonna deal a bit of damage onto Mac up through the wall. It's not too significant. That nade does a bit more damage, but nothing uh, to worry about just yet. And Dren always oh, heads being spotted. His teammate Rafa's on 71 HP. And now he's stuck. Rafa's made his way in towards window room into jungle. Emmercop's gonna take him down. Shorty's gonna get that second. No, he isn't. Adren is one versus two. He knows where Tarantula is. And uh, just by the skin of their teeth, Bulgaria managed to rescue the round 2-1. So they went for the early buy. Fair play to them. It paid off for them. But again, we all know what can happen if those early buys go wrong. Unfortunately, Bulgaria at the moment won't really have to worry about losing any early buy rounds. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. The... Uh, for Bulgaria, Spy Leaders in the lead with uh, three kills, three deaths. Going from Tarantula with three kills. Spectre with two kills. Emmencop with one kill. And Bubble yet to uh, to uh, to kill anyone. Keen is uh, very keen at the moment with five kills, one death. But Kazakhstan, hang on, let's leave the scores for now. Looks like the terrorists just might push into this B bomb site, this A bomb site, sorry, perhaps they might. Adren's going to push out of there. going to spot Tarantula. But the M4 wins over the AK. And we expect better from Adren. And he's, uh, he's uh, put his team down. Four players now. Moo, Moo's, Moo's definitely heard someone. Spidey's going to take him out. So now Kazakhstan, two men up. They were, of course, two men up beforehand, and that quickly dropped to uh, being only one man up. So they're going to have to regroup now. They're going to have to take it easy. They're going to have to just hold their bomb sites and not fall into the trap that Kazakhstan will undoubtedly want them to fall into, which is them getting complacent, them pushing out of bomb sites, and uh, definitely often. That may uh, cost them to lose rounds. We saw that fight from Core on there. So, uh, oh, they've leveled it up. Keen onto MCOP. Lovely AK-47 headshot. And exactly what I said just happened. Bulgaria, they went complacent. They pushed positions. And now, they are, well, they were on level terms. They could find themselves one man ahead. Two men ahead now. Bubble's going to take Core on down. And Rafa is all by himself. He's uh, in T-spawn. He's got that big green gun in the up, and yep, it looks like he's going to save. Ten seconds to go, just under that, actually. So, a bit of a wasteful round from Kazakhstan. They didn't even get the bomb down, but hey, look at the bright side. Rafa's still got the up. 2-2. Two, two. bring in a co-caster for the second map. This just happened so fast I didn't have time to sort someone out for it, so sorry about that guys. So, Moose still got the orb, but we do have four pistols, so it is a bit of an eco or slash deco from the Kazakhstan. He's and keen. He's gonna get that first frag with the P250. Adren is gonna drop down shortly. He's gonna take M and cop down. He does. And the team who are ecoing find themselves one man up. Oh, Moo just missed that orb shot. He's gonna score. Oh, there's the orb shot. Good orb shot from Moo. And there's the second orb shot from him. Good stuff. Three versus one. Bubbles all by himself on short. What are we gonna see now? Is he gonna attempt to retake this bomb site? If Kazakhstan end up winning this, which looks very likely at the moment, what an eco round from them. You know, they only had Moo who had that orb, but fair enough. They knew what they were doing. They pushed the A site quickly. And let's be honest, Bulgaria's lockdown on that A site wasn't great either. So the bomb's down, pretty textbook stuff really, Bubbles just going to hide at mid, behind container, and uh, perhaps try and sneak a cheeky exit fragging. If he doesn't though, I'm, sh I'm sure he won't be too disappointed. He's really just interested in trying to hold on to that M4A4 faded zebra. There we go. So 3-2 in favour of Kazakhstan, again Mirage, 50-50 map, perhaps slightly CT sided, is what some people reckon. It's interesting because obviously the uh, CTs aren't in the lead at the moment, but oh well, there's still a lot of time for them to uh, turn it back round. So move with that orb of course, he got two kills in the last round, so fair play to him, he definitely knows how to use it. Let's see what he can do with it this round. The bomb is... where's the bomb? The bomb's still at T-spawn around here. He's been left B-sided, so make that what you will. Oh, and he's spamming short. So come on, Kazakhstan, are you going to get round number four on the board? Oh, 
well. We're going to we're going to uh, see the Bulgarians level things up to three three. Six rounds in, of course. And the Bulgarians, they're on a bit of a mixed buy. Two pharmacies, two M4s, and I'm not quite sure what Bubble has. Moves making his way into Arps and Bubble. Oh, he spotted Bubble. He spotted Bubble. I'm, I don't know if Bubble spotted him back. I think he may have done his falling back now. Moves just going to keep hold of that angle. The flashes are going to get dispersed all over this bomb site now. Moves checking angles. Surely we're going to have a frag sometime soon. Keen, however, despite the B push, will get a frag on the A bomb site. Spectre. He's stood on short and Bubbles hiding. He's gonna. Oh, two Terry's stood right in front of him. He's gonna take down one. Couldn't get the second. And now, well, it's spraying for fun from both sides. Spraying left, right, and centre. Moose a bit stuck at the moment with that big green gun, that heavy AWP. Down goes Coron, and Moo is a one-man army. And unfortunately, that army lost the war. So three, three. So Bulgaria now, they've got that round under their board. And hopefully that just might give them the momentum they need. So the bomb's going towards B. It is on the back of a Dren, but hey, it's early in the round. There's a lot of time to change things around, but I don't think they'll have to. Moo quickly push short and took down Spectre. And the Bulgarians, they've got to start rotating now. There's the return frag from Tarantula through the smoke. Lovely jubbly and bubble. Well, he's in the same position he was last time. He's going to get one frag. And are any more going to come towards him? Yep, there's a Dren. Nails him in the head as well. Lovely stuff from Bubble. And MN Cop just mops the rest of the Kazakhstanis up. And Koron is now the last man standing. Oh, Koron with two. He was four versus one. But he did fall to his death after getting two kills. It looked likely. But uh, a bit of a laggy Go TV can often make things look slightly confusing as well. Obviously, guys, the Kazakhstanis, they're on a 150-odd thing, uh, bar Rafa. I'm not quite sure where Rafa lives, so fair play to him. He's got a nice ping. But, yeah, despite his ping advantage, he's actually bottom fragging for Kazakhstan. So, we, yeah, make, make of that what you will. So, we do have an eco round from the Kazakhstanis. Bubble's going to get that first frag. Bubble's been holding that B site very, very well. The Spectre gets a double for himself. He's going to get pushed off short. He's definitely spotted Moo. And he they know Moo, the last terror is standing. And he's not standing anymore. 5-3. The Bulgarians, they were around behind. At, I think it was 3-2. But now they're 5-3 ahead. We were saying that Mirage is ever so slightly counter-terrorist sided. And well, Bulgaria's starting to uh, put their money where their mouth is now. So, finally we have AKs for the terrorists, and no one really going towards B apps, the bomb's outside of A, so we could see some, some sort of A split now. The CT's playing relatively uh, aggressive, especially Spy Leader, but they haven't pushed this connector here. We've got a draining up, so the smokes are going to get thrown out now. And what are we going to see? There's four counter-terrorists near this A bomb site, so... That might be in the trouble. So Tarantula's being pushed now. He has that AK-47. He's completely blind. Down he goes. It is four on four. So the terrorists are making their way into here. The flashes. Good counter flashing from the Bulgarians. Come on, terrorists. Get a move on. Dren couldn't get that flag through the bottom of Balcony. And they know he's in apps. He's going to have to fall back. Well, there's no lie that that push was a poor push. But credit has to go to Bulgaria there counter flashing was superb so Adrian gets that frag he's of course on one HP one bullet's all it'll take to knock him out and there we go see you later as Tarantula finishes him off 6-3 so another eco from Kazakhstan this is interesting especially considering the fact that well no, they bought. They bought. No, they still are eco. My bad. They've well, they've gone for a bit of a deco. You got a few P250s there. I think it's safe to say we all missed the days of the Deagle on deco route. So Spy Leader in Window Room is going to take down one, but it's not good enough. Take it down only one, and before falling to your death, when you've got an M4. But Spectre shows his teammate how he's done. Two kills for him. Tarantula as well, getting on the score sheet. And how keen can Keen be? He's slowly making his way towards this A bomb site. He's approaching it. He sees Spectre. But 
well, M4 versus P250. The M4 should win any day of the week. And Spectre carries on doing what he's done very, very well so far this game. Popping heads. So, do we have a buy round? I believe we don't. No, we do, we do. We have AKs and an AWP for the Kazakhstanis. So, two fra quick frags from Mourinho. M Mourinho? Why did I say Mourinho? You see, when I say Moo, it reminds me of Mourinho, M O U. Two quick frags from Mourinho. And there's a hat trick from Sir Alex Ferguson. Anyways, so, hat trick from Moo already. And Bubble is all by himself. He's on the B bomb site. I think uh, it's going to take a miracle for him to try and pull the clutch off now. Keno Evers approaching him. He might just spot his head. Bubble's going to get that frag. So one out of five down, four more to go. He's definitely not going to try and defuse this bomb. Moves on the search for his fourth kill. He's only on 10 HP though, and he has that big expensive orange orb boom. So it might not be worth the risk. But of course that's his choice. It's completely up to him. They are quickly closing down Bubble. Question is, are any of them going to find him? Oh, they just might. One of the terrorists is on top of him, which also directors don't want to show us. But Bubble remains standing. So, he's going to get to save that silenced M4. And Kazakhstan, well, they've got a build on the last round. They got the bomb down, which was important. Bulgaria, they're going to have to try and get at least round number 8 on the board. Slightly CT sided map. I don't think they'll be too downhearted if they do manage to, you know, emerge victorious with only 8-7. But again, with uh, Kazakhstan only being on four rounds, they could uh, still go go away with 12-11, sorry. So, where the terrorists going is Renz only by himself on the A-bomb site and just missed that, sorry, Keen with two. Lovely stuff, that's what we're here to see. He pushed out of underground, took down one in window. And finished off the second in connector. The uh, Bulgarians, they tried to change it around. They went quite aggressive. But Keeney was more than prepared for them. Mu awaits here in mid. And the rest of his teammates are going to try and get the bomb down at B. No. Keen going back towards T-spawn. Rafa looks like he's faking that B push. So Adren is closer to... MN Cop than he thinks. MN Cop talking about CT's going aggressive. He's holding a very aggressive angle. He's going to take down Adren now. And level up the terms to 3-3. Three, three. Moves rotating back through spawn. Bubble's going to stay holding that B-bomb site. Spectre playing neutral in the middle. And MN Cop. He already got one frag on that larger A-bomb site earlier on. Now we're going to see another frag from him as he... Well, attempts to protect this bomb site from the terrorists. Keen, of course, he's got two frags to his name, but he's only on two HP. Surely Amacom's going to take him down. He is, but Moo's going to return the kill. Two, two. Things are getting hot and spicy now. We've got one AWP for the terrorists and one auto sniper for the counter terrorists. So, who's going to win this battle of snipers? Eight seconds to go. Spectre spraying. Down goes Moo. And Spectre wins the battle of the snipers. But who's going to win the battle of the counter terrorists and terrorists? Rafa surrounded at the moment and Bubble takes out the trash. So solid round from Bulgaria. I'm sure they will have uh, preferred not to allow the Kazakhstanis to get the bomb down. Hey, they don't mind too much. A round's a round. 8 4. So I'm being told that Spectre's actual name is Punisher. Um, I'll. Uh, I'll try to say Punisher, sometimes I just end up saying whatever I see on the top right of my screen. So, Koran with the first blood. Oh no, he's being, he's being pushed. He was pushed by Spyler. Adren's going to push straight into this bomb site. Dealt a bit of damage onto Tarantula, but not enough. The CTs are one man down, but hey, this is still doable. We've seen Mu do this uh, awkward walk orpin, but it's definitely working for him. Lands that shot in the head of Tarantula. Now he's going right towards Bubble. And well, Bubble made him pay the price. Two versus one now. Rafa knows where Bubble is. So I think they probably are going to try and go. No, no, they're, they're more than happy to stay near Bubble on this A bomb site. But Bubble, as soon as he hears that bomb going down, 
He is going to push Rafa. But we have Keane coming from the back of Bubble. Bubble's not going to check it. For a second there, it looked like Keane missed his shots. But he did get it in the end. 8-5. And solid stuff from Kazakhstan so far. Like we said, slightly CT-sided. I don't think they'll be too downheartened. I'm not quite sure who the favourite is, to be honest, for this game. The only player I've really heard of is Adren. I guess that's natural. So Cora once again going into <laughs> mid. Lovely shot. Wow. Core on the past few rounds has just been pushing into mid and getting headshots. Great stuff. Cindy. It's just there's only one player now. In Tarantula. And we'll take down Cora. Which will fall into his death. So simple stuff from Kazakhstan. The game's emphasising that that round only took 31 rounds. We saw some of the CTs push uh, certain connectors, especially A connector near T spawn, and well, despite getting one kill, the terrorists knew exactly where they were and punished them. They stayed pushing down mid, and it paid off for them. So five, five again, we have an eco, well, slightly deco, slight deco, sorry, from the CTs. They're all over this A bomb site. Well, they look like they're trying to push into this A bomb site. MN Cop managed to somehow kill himself. Probably feeling somewhat of a suicidal mood. And Moo pulls off that shot once again. He's been terrific with that AWP. Fire leader. Using that Deagle to drop Keen. Moo missed that shot. And just as I said, he missed the shot. He somehow managed to pull it off. Bubbles making his way into jungle now. Oh, they don't know he's there. He's not looking. They now know he's there. They definitely heard his bullets coming from there. And Moo with the hat trick. 8-7. Fair play to Kazakhstan. They brought it back. But I think Bulgaria would have perhaps liked more than eight rounds as CT. I can't quite remember what map number two is going to be. Let me just go and have a look. Unless someone tells me in the chat, of course. Right, map number two is going to be Nuke. Good old Nuke. Oh, wait, they've started. My bad. Jesus. Anyway, so... Terrace, of course, they've decided to all stay on blocks. They're going straight for this B push now. Goron's in trouble, and they're going to jump right down on him and land on him like Superman. Tarantula with one. They're going to go and chase him. That last counter terrorist on short, who is a Dren. And down he goes, thanks to the bubble. And the CTs got that heck of a job on their hands, but Keen makes that job ever so slightly easier. And they landed that shot onto the head of Punisher. Leader takes down Rafa, Tarantula takes down Moo. I mean, I'm not sure whether this is whether Kazakhstan have done this on purpose. We've got a Rafa Benitez and a Jose Mourinho. I mean, it could just be me, but I, I, I don't know. Are they genuinely called Moo and Rafa, or have they actually called themselves, named themselves after Jose Mourinho and Rafa Benitez? I don't know. So, the terrorists, they won that round. The Bulgarians, who of course won the first half. So, that's first half one and first round of the second half one. Which is, so, it's looking good for them. A few P90s, a few AK-47s. And, oh, they're going straight into this A-bomb site. Where are the CTs? They're all at mid. So, the bomb's going to go down. It should be an easy plant for them. There it is. Bull's going to plant the bomb. But the CTs are slowly making their way close to that bomb plant. Emmenkopf using his uh, Bison weapon advantage to get a kill. Spidey, the where's he stood? Thanks now Koron, and he's going to get pushed by Adren. Surely he should really pull this off with his uh, weapon superiority, and he does. Typical eco bash. Nice boost from Spy Leader, and uh, it paid off for them. 10-7. So Kazakhstan, well they've uh, taken a leaf out of Bulgaria's book. I don't know if some of you guys remember, but Bulgaria went for the early buy. Oh! Oh, lovely shot from you. Uh, I thought he was good with the orb, but it's even better with a scout to be able to pull off a headshot like that so early in the round. Fair play to him, but he did actually fall to his death. So, his, uh, you know, it depends which way you look at it. Get a kill and then die. 
leave it at four on four or perhaps leave it at five on five you know it depends which way you, you look at it but a kill's a kill Tarantula spots one of the CTs at mid and of course the CTs they've gone for this all FAMAS buy up which means if they do end up losing this round well they're gonna have to eco again for the next round and it's gonna hurt them financially so let's just wait and see how this develops Bubble and MN comp making their way and there's another one there, good shot from Koran and though things are getting hot and spicy now with Dren. We said this Farmas round had to pay off for them and Adren wants to make it count. But Tarantula has something else up his sleeve. Two versus two, they know Tarantula's going to be making his way towards this B-bomb site from short. Spectre peaked, oh, he peaked at the wrong time there Spectre. And now two versus one for Tarantula. Can he use those eight arms of his to his advantage? He spots Adren, he spots Keen, sorry doesn't deal enough damage he's moving ever so closer to this B bomb site 10 seconds to go and he's gonna have to try and take out both these CTs if he's gonna try and make this round count seven seconds now he's gonna spray and down he goes thanks to Coran Tarantula couldn't pull the two versus one clutch off and that early buy round paid off for Kazakhstan which they'll be happy about but Bulgaria despite losing that third round can still afford to buy up AKs, so uh, not too costly really for both sides. What's this setup going to be? No one really A sided from the terrorists, they're all mainly mid and B, but of course, if they wanted to, they could just change their minds and go through a connector. So Koran might have a bit of terrorists to deal with. Oh, he put that Molotov onto the floor. He put that Molotov on the floor. Adren, however, he knows exactly where these terrorists are. Two kills from Adren. Is he going to get the hat trick? Moo with the scout. He's a terrific sniper, he is. And spy leader. Well, he's going to have to be a bit of a spy and a bit of a leader now. A leader of himself. He, if, if he is going to try and pull this clutch off. Three versus one. Moo's anticipating him coming short and there's the shot from Moo. He just lands those scout headshots with minimal effort and when you've got a sniper like that in your team it can honestly make such a big difference like we've seen there for Kazakhstan so far but despite that they still are one man down so it's going to have to see whether they can one round down, sorry not one man down, one round down so we're going to have to see if they can uh, turn things around. Bulgaria there, eco in, they're rushing straight into this A-bomb site and surely the CT can't lose this one. They're a three man from Keen. They all ran into connector and Adren took two for himself. It's typical eco bash. In Kazakhstan, they brought it back. It's level pegging now. 10-10. No, we do have a buy round from the terrorists and a buy round from the CTs, of course, because they did win that previous round. Looks like we could see us an A split. The bomb is, of course, outside of A. Trunks is going to push through connector. Rafa's got a lot to deal with now. Manages to deal with the first wave of terrorists coming his way. He's going to be able to deal with the second. Spy leaders out in the open. He's going to get one. Surely he's going to get the second. No. Keen has other ideas. MN Cop with the team kill onto Spectre or Punisher. But, uh... I mean, Cop definitely punished Punisher for getting in the way. Two versus one. Adren rotating from connector. Where's Koron? Yet to be seen by MN Cop. I know he's in the wrong place at the wrong time. And Adren got his second of the round. And now finally, Kazakhstan are back in the lead. So Moo's been given that big green gun, or in this case, a big, big orange gun in the orc. So let's see where he's going to go with it. Looks like he uh, just might try and push mid relatively early, but we know that none of the terrorists have gone there. Bomb and everyone else is outside a long. Spectre, I think, just might try and fake a B. Oh no, he's underground, he's underground. Moo spots him, Moo takes him down. It's Franks galore for Moo at the moment, and Franks galore for MCOMP as well. Super Moo. At the moment, he's really fragging that all for fun. But the important thing now for the Bulgarians, the bombs down, the bombs down, and the CTs going to be able to rotate. Nades are going to start flying. 
Left, right and centre and they're talking about nades. Moo will get the hat trick. Two orb kills and a nade kill. Good stuff from Moo. And he's going to make it four or maybe even five. Definitely not five now because the Dren took down MN Comp. Moo's going to fall to his death. And Koron lands that headshot onto Tarantula. And Kazakhstan, they fought their way back into the lead. And now they're more than one round up. They're two rounds up. So I think we may see... No, we're seeing a buy round from Bulgaria, Bulgaria again. Of course, AK-47s are relatively cheaper than uh, the M4s that their counterpart team have. And of course, in CSGO, the way the money system works, once you start losing a few rounds, uh, you get more money to add to your bank collection. So, that is of course what will happen to Bulgaria. So, Moo's pushed mid connector, headshot from Moo. Wow, does this guy miss shots? I don't think so. Adren as well, when you've got two players like Moo and Adren in your team who just... Moo just mows everyone down and makes it look easy. I don't know how he does it. Some people just seem born with the gift of being able to orb brilliantly. And he certainly seems like one of those players. So, Rafa Benitez is holding the A bomb site from CT spawn. MN Comp going towards this B bomb site, along with Bubble behind him. But uh, two CTs are on B and two CTs are on A, so. No matter which way these terrorists decide to go, and Koran's going to see him very soon. But no, no, Koran misses shots, and the Dren's all by himself now. He's going to land that shot, and now he's got to deal with Bubble, and he deals with him superbly. Three versus one, and uh, Spectre, or Punisher, as some of you guys want me to call him, is going to have to try and do something now. He's coming through apps. He's already seen the head of the Dren, and they'll definitely hurt his AK-47. Is he going to drop out the window? He's not going to drop out the window, but Adren's going to put his name slap bang onto Spectre's face. Lands that headshot and claims the four man. In Kazakhstan, they look strong. They look strong. Fair enough, they lost the first first half, but uh, so far in the second half, they are 6-2 up. And uh, since we're looking at the score, well, let's discuss what is going on. So Moo's leading it for Kazakhstan, 22 kills, 19 deaths. And considering the fact that he's only on 100, he's, well, he is on 140 ping, and he's orping the way he is. Bulgaria, you've got to take a long, hard look at yourselves, because it's not good enough. Dren behind Moo with 22 kills, 14 deaths. King with 19 kills. And let's have a look at this before we go back to the scoreboard. Rafa's been spotted. Rafa's going to be dropped. Three versus three now. Could still go either way. Tarantula lands the headshot onto Moo. And Adren's in jungle. He's spraying through those boxes. He's not dealing that much damage. He's on 48 HP himself. And Spectre's been sprayed out from behind. He's going to put that smoke out. To try and use the Galil through his advantage. Koran's going to take him out from behind. And wow. Kills galore at the moment. So, Kazakhstan, are you going to retake this bomb site? Where's Adren? Adren's coming from CT spawn. And he might always nade in Tarantula. That nade's going to land right on Tarantula. Tarantula's only on 30 HP now. And the CTs, they've got to put their running shoes on. They've got to get a move on Tarantula. Spots Adren. Drops him. And surely Tarantula can get a second kill now. He's going to pick that last player. Koran's going to get Tarantula. And he's uh, going to attempt the defuse. But let's be honest with each other. Yes. Not enough time. He uh, doesn't have enough time. So back to the scoreboard. Tarantula for Bulgaria. For for Bulgaria. Dear me. Uh, for Bulgaria with 22 kills, 16 deaths. Spy leader with 17 kills, 18 deaths. MN Cop with 14 kills, 20 deaths. Spectre with 13 kills, 18 deaths. And Bubble on an almost one KD ratio with 13 kills, 14 deaths. So the terrorists now they board up. And of course, so the CT in Kazakhstan. So a killer piece so far, and it's looking good. They know Tarantula's definitely pushed down mid, and we can uh, see how the CTs are counter-reacting to that with a Dren. He looked like he tried to go into window room, but he signed against it. So Bubbles going back through spawn with the bomb as he gives that AK jungle spray a quick look at, make sure that no one's disarmed his gun, no one's shot any bullets into his gun, that his gun is still working. Just kidding, of course, guns can't jam on Counter-Strike. But yeah, so the bomb is close to this A bomb site. MN Comp always oh, being spotted, but he's going to land that headshot. And oh, you can see what he did there for the death cam. He ran towards the B bomb site. But here's the push now. Tarantula lands the headshot onto Koron. Good kill from him. And now Adren and Rafa are the only CT standing. And on paper, we should see Bulgaria make this 13-12. Very close map. And are the CTs going to go for it? Adren... Doesn't look too interested in doing so at the moment. They're 
just holding this crossfire near mid. Tarantula is making his way towards Rafa. He's looked the wrong way, but he's going to get the kill anyways. And Adren's going to know exactly where Tarantula is. And Adren has got a tough job on his hands now. He's trying to save that M4A4 faded zebra. do so successfully. So money wise we are going to see a uh, bit of a deco coming in or maybe an eco from the counter terrorists. Good news is they are of course still in the lead so I think we'd expect them to perhaps lose this round. We can leave things at 13-13 and well it could be anyone's game so no they smoked him out he did buy that scout well that scout just might go to waste Spectre's actually taking the bomb B by himself, so that's interesting if he ends up dying. Um, well, Bulgaria will be in trouble, there's no doubt about that. Come on, Bulgaria, get a move on. I mean, you can understand why Bulgaria are playing the way they are. They know that their opponents in Kazakhstan are most likely eco in. And, well... They don't want to give them any of their weapons because this is, of course, a big turning point in the game. Bulgaria can level things up and go back to 13-13. They somewhat stand a chance, but no, Keen pushed through apps. He managed to take down Tarantula. Wow, I didn't even notice that. And Rafa's making his way up mid, but I think Bubble and MN Comp know he's there. They sure do now. Bubble takes him out. Four versus four. Keen gets his second kill. Wow. Keen's on a... P250 frenzy at the moment. So, the team who are eco in and one man down, but surely their weapon advantage should prove for something. Mulan the headshot. How does he do it? He aims straight at the head with that scout and just. He makes the scout look like an orc. So, Adren's going to push out a window room, and if Kazakhstan can save this round, if they, if they can manage to win this round, which they will, surely one of them's going to have a defuse kit. Mu once again going huge with that sniper. Which is, of course, the scout, not the AWP, but by heck does he make it look like an AWP? Well, Kazakhstan, they were eco in. Bulgaria, they needed that round, but they haven't been able to deliver the goods, and Kazakhstan could very well make and pay the price and steal this first map off them. 14 12. So a buy as expected from both sides. Not sure whether Moo. Yep, Moo still has that that scout. Oh, oh! I thought he, I thought he got the shot then. So Tarantula anticipated Moo pushing connector. He got there down, uh, pretty damn fast. Managed to put his team one man ahead. Bulgaria, they need this to prevent the game going match point in favour of Kazakhstan. But we know the quality Kazakhstan have in this side. Adren, Keen, Rafa and Koron. We've seen what they're capable of. And that's exactly what Adren's capable of just there. Peak and Tarantula at the right time. And making him pay the price for standing out in the open. Four versus four. 14, 12. What can uh, Bulgaria do here? Well, uh, Bubble heard me and answered my question. Bubble and Spectre exploding on this A-bomb site. And Adren and Rafa once again... Being left to have to rotate awkwardly into this A bomb site. Bubble only on 4 HP. MN Comp is gonna spot Rafa and take him out. Good stuff. So Adren is all by himself now. As he runs away towards window room. No, he's running more towards the B bomb site. And surely it's only gonna be an exit frag for him. He's not close enough to that A bomb site. And he's not really gonna be able to. Uh, win the round. He's got a few exit frags, which he does. He's got in uh, two already. He's hurt the fire leader. He's drained despite losing the round, of course. Why don't you get a four-man to himself before... Wow, Spectre took him out. Or Punisher. Who punished him. That pun's getting old now, I know. Punisher punishing Kazakhstan. So, full bar from both sides again, so Keen takes down Tarantula to begin things off. Moo has finally got an AWP, and uh, well, two from Moo already, he's unstoppable as a sniper. The question is though, can he rifle? Well, he hasn't had to really, he just keeps buying a scout whenever he needs to rifle. 
The bubble's all by himself now. And surely we're going to see match point now going in favour of Kazakhstan. There it is. So Kazakhstan, they've got 15. One more round for them. We'll see them emerge victorious. And despite having such a ping, this advantage, 121 to Adren, 133 to Mu, 100 ping for Keen, and 130 for Koran. They're really not doing too badly, especially Mu with that sniping of his. Sniping on 130 ping, it's not something you see every day, is it? I'm talking about Mu, here he is, he's pushed mid. Is he going to get a frag? They've uh, heard one of his shots get, fi get fired off. And Adren and him are going to play together as a team here. And down goes Bubble. Moves peeking from the left. Adren's peeking from the right. Good teamwork. And there's a second from Adren. And surely now Bulgaria. They're not going to get anything out of this. Or maybe they might. MN comes main ground from the B bomb site. Adren knows he's there. The bomb down on the floor. Adren spraying. And just about gets the kill with his last bullet. And Mu finishes things off. 16-13 in favour of Kazakhstan for this first map, guys. So I'm just going to be right back and try and find a co-caster. And uh, I'll put a bit of music on in the meantime. So uh, map number two is going to be Nuke, I believe. So uh, stay tuned, guys. And remember to follow this Twitch channel. Remember to follow the Twitch channel. And again, follow the Twitch channel. Thank you.